The tutorial you're about to watch is from the Lightroom Organization and Workflow Workshop, which is part of the SR Lounge Lightroom Workshop Collection. This workshop on DVD starts from the ground up with Lightroom file management, organization, and helps photographers to master a full professional post-production workflow. The workshop includes over 70 high-definition videos, and it totals nearly eight hours of uninterrupted education. Also included are 70 raw image exercise files and our workflow guide and checklist. Designed for Lightroom 4 and Lightroom 5 users, you can learn more or purchase this workshop from the SR Lounge store by clicking the link below in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. While Lightroom's develop module is powerful, there are many instances where we need to turn to Photoshop for additional functionality when it comes to image editing. Lightroom's editing abilities primarily rest in what we refer to as global adjustments. This means that Lightroom is absolutely wonderful when it comes to dialing in settings and effects to give an image an entire overall look. While Lightroom does offer some very powerful local adjustment or area effect features, it's the fine tuning of these localized adjustments where we're going to start to see the limitations. So for example, Lightroom doesn't have the ability to create precise masks, multiple layers, mass based effects, and so forth. This means that basically for all advanced retouch, digital enhancement, or image manipulation, we really need to look to Photoshop. There's a lot of people that constantly argue that these built in limitations are simply Adobe's way of requiring that basically Lightroom users also end up purchasing and using Photoshop. And there may be some truth in that, but the real reason, at least I think, behind Lightroom's built-in limitations is to keep these programs running efficiently on their own, while also not bogging down basically the user interface and overloading the user with complexity. Lightroom in and of itself is already complex enough as it is to learn, and could you imagine how much more difficult it would be to operate if that interface also included all of Photoshop's tools? Imagine not only using, but just navigating the sheer amount of functions between these two programs if they were to be combined. By keeping these programs separate, Adobe has created two very well integrated products that work hand in hand, but each have a different purpose within the photographer's workflow, and each of them have streamlined efficiency and overall very clean and usable user interfaces. Now, while still having used Photoshop may sound like a drag to you, we find that for the typical amateur to professional photographer that say shoots a mixture of landscapes to portraits and everything in between, we really only need to go into Photoshop with around 1% of our images. This means that for the majority of people, 99 out of 100 images that you shoot, Lightroom is going to be sufficiently powerful to edit those images. When we do need to do advanced retouch, extreme image enlargements, enhancements, or advanced image manipulation, that's when we're going to head into Photoshop. Otherwise, we're working in Lightroom literally 99% of the time, and this makes for a very quick and efficient workflow. For most serious photographers, Lightroom is going to be powerful enough as they don't require the image manipulation abilities of Photoshop. However, do keep in mind that depending on the type of photography that you're primarily shooting, your needs are going to, of course, vary. For example, the beauty or fashion photographer that really only delivers, say, a set of images, maybe five to ten images within a spread, well, they're going to spend the majority of their time in Photoshop because the tools necessary to get each image absolutely perfect are within Photoshop. For the advertising or commercial photographer that's creating a single composite spread and delivering only one image to their client, well, Photoshop is again really the only option. But for the majority of us, Lightroom will be sufficient with most of our images. Either way, my recommendation to all of you is the exact same. First, master Lightroom in this workshop. Many people don't realize just how powerful Lightroom is in and of itself when it comes to even advanced things like Lightroom portrait retouching and enhancing. When you start to reach the limitations of Lightroom and you need to take your images a step further, that's when you want to make the decision whether you need to purchase or subscribe to Photoshop as well. 